In this activity, we're going to make a string telephone. So it's a very simple activity. So you need two coffee cups. Um, you can either be plastic or a paper like these. Um, you're going to need some string or thread. Uh, I've tried both today and both work quite well. Uh, you're going to need a scissor to cut the thread. Uh, you're going to need something to poke a hole through the bottom of the um, cups. I'm going to use a bamboo skewer here and two paper clips to tie on to the end of the thread. So to do this activity, what you're going to need to do is take one of the uh, coffee cups, uh, turn it upside down, uh, take the uh, skewer and pop a hole through the bottom of it. Now you can use, you could use the scissors to do this, uh, but if you do, you might make too big a hole. You don't really want uh, too big a hole for this. Uh, and so you need to do the same for the center of the other one. So pop a hole in the middle and, and just widen it out with the, the um, skewer. So that's to get the thread through. Then what you need to do is you need to measure out a good distance uh, of, of thread. So you need maybe two or three meters of this. So there's a good distance between you and the person that uh, you're trying to listen to. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put the uh, thread through this hole. Uh, and you might need to um, twist the bottom of this just to get it through the hole. Sometimes uh, the th uh, string uh, might go through that hole quite easy because that's quite a small hole. Uh, you can use the um, bamboo skewer to push that through. Just be careful of your fingers when you're doing that. Uh, now, once you've threaded the string through, you can, if you like, tie a knot at the bottom. But I have found in the past that when you do this by just tying a knot, uh, once you put uh, tension on, once you pull this side, um, it can make that hole bigger and sometimes the knot can go through. Uh, so to get rid of that problem, we're going to tie the, the end of the um, string to a paper clip uh, and just put one or two knots on that just to make sure that it holds steady. So now when you pull it, there's no chance of that paper clip going through the small hole that you've made. This is the finished string telephone. Uh, this is a, I've cut the string a little smaller than you will. Uh, you won't have it much further than this. Uh, now, <clears throat> to get it to work, what you need to do is get one person to uh, stand far away from you. And then you, you, you have to make sure that you pull the string tight. The string must be taut. Um, and when the string is really tight between the two uh, string telephones, when that person talks, the vibration is then sent down through this string uh, into the cup and um, makes it much louder, as you can see. It, this is very similar to two other activities that we did. Uh, the uh, noise maker, uh, and that's when you just hold this and you can hear uh, the sound amplified as you pull your finger down it. And also the making loud sounds with the coat hanger. Um, I ha I'll have a description or a link in the description of this video uh, to those two videos. Another nice activity you can do with these is instead of just having two um, string telephones, you can actually set up a network. So you could have four of these, four of these uh, telephones altogether. So you have two, two pairs of telephones. Um, so what I have here is just to, uh, to show you how it works. So you have these two people have your, uh, your uh, normal string telephone and these other two people try to tap in to uh, the conversation that these two people are having. So they hold the string tight and they wrap it around once around this line. And if this person then speaks, that vibration will go through the string and go to each of the, of the uh, telephones. So one person can actually talk to three people. And you can try this out and see if one person could actually talk to maybe five people. 